Hi friends, welcome to part 2 of day 2 to solve UPSC prelims questions 2019. Let's get straight into question number 12. Which of the following statements are correct about the deposits of methane hydrate? What are methane hydrate? See, large but poorly known amounts of methane are trapped in the sediments beneath the seafloor. They are actually frozen into a form of water ice called methane hydrate. They are mainly found in tundra region and very colder regions where the methane is trapped in the form of ice which is called methane hydrate. So global warming might trigger the release of methane gas from these deposits. Yes, large deposits of methane hydrate are found in arctic tundra under the seafloor. Yes, methane in atmosphere oxidizes to carbon dioxide after a decade or two. Yes. This is also correct. So, the answer to this question is D, 1, 2 and 3. Question number 13. In the context of hydrogen enriched CNG, uh, compressed natural gas, uh, it is used as fuel for buses in public transport. So, which of the following statements are correct in this regard? The main advantage of HCNG is the elimination of carbon monoxide emissions. You see the usage of extreme word elimination. This is wrong. The advantage is that it, the carbon monoxide emissions are reduced but not eliminated. Now, HCNG has fuel reduces carbon dioxide and hydrocarbon emissions. Yes, this is correct. And hydrogen up to one fifth by volume can be blended with CNG as fuel for buses. Yes, this is also correct. HCNG makes the fuel less expensive than CNG. No, this is wrong because the cost of hydrogen is higher. So, HCNG would be expensive than CNG. So, the answer to this question is B, 2 and 3. And Delhi will be the first city in the country to roll out hydrogen enriched compressed natural gas. And uh, this will be from November 2020. And uh, this is mainly uh, with the help of IOCL. And it has planned to mix 18 to 20 percent of hydrogen in these uh, buses. Question number 14. Uh, consider the following statements which are correct. Agricultural soils release nitrogen oxides into the environment. Yes. Cattle release ammonia into the environment. Yes. Poultry industry released reactive nitrogen compounds into the environment. Yes, all the three statements are correct. And the answer is D, 1, 2 and 3. You see, agricultural soils contributed to over 90% of nitrous oxide emissions from India in 2010. So, and nitrous oxide has replaced methane as the second largest greenhouse gas from Indian agriculture. And the reactive nitrogen includes ammonia, nitrate, nitric oxide, nitrous oxide and uh, livestock and poultry are both responsible for the emission of reactive nitrogen. Question number 15. Why is there a great concern about the micro beads that are released into the environment? And most of us would be using products uh, somehow associated with the micro beads and they are considered harmful to marine ecosystem. The answer is A. See, you can see micro beads are found uh, in toothpaste, they are also found in shampoos, baby lotion, face cream and they are toxic to marine life and hence they are banned internationally. They are less than 1 millimeter. And mainly the main problem with this sir, is, is that it can absorb toxins and they can transfer up to the marine food chain. So that is why it is harmful to the marine environment. Question number 16, consider the following. Which of the above are released into the atmosphere due to burning of crops or biomass? Uh, the answer is that all the four gases are released into the atmosphere. Answer is D, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, why is uh, biomass happening or crop residues burning happening? It is because they are cheap and the easiest method to dispose the le uh, leftover crop residues like wheat, sugar cane, rice, etc after harvesting for land clearing and also for pest control. But this is a serious problem as uh, Delhi's pollution is mainly attributed to the biomass burning in Punjab and Haryana. Question number 17. In India, the use of carbofuran, methylparathion forage and uh, triosophos is viewed with apprehension. These chemicals are used as the words are like Greek and Latin. Actually, they are used as pesticides in agriculture. 
the carbofuran is one of the most toxic pesticide and it is used to control insects in a wide variety of field crops like potatoes corn and soya beans question number 18 this is regarding the environment protection act 1986 which empowers the government of india to state the requirement of public participation in the process of environmental protection actually this statement is like quite tricky because the environment protection act gives enormous powers to the government of india to like take n number of measures in order to protect the environment and to abate the environmental pollution and second statement <coughs> it empowers the government of india to lay down the standards for emission or discharge of environmental pollutants from the various sources yes this is like absolutely correct because uh, there is no other authority other than the government of india to lay down such standards so the doubt is whether statement 1 is true or uh, false and as uh, upsc is like uh, sets the key which is like always unpredictable uh, according to the upsc key statement 1 is actually wrong so the answer to this question is b two only Question number nineteen. In India, extended producer responsibility was introduced as an important feature in which of the following? So this is also another fact-based question. And please make sure that you read through the rules, which are the biomedical waste, e-waste, and solid waste management rules. They are very very important with respect to environmental questions. Here the answer is C, e-waste, because electronic waste when people use and when they discard it. they release toxic gases to the atmosphere and also they pollute the soil and hence there is a concept called extended producer responsibility which tells that once the customer discards the product it becomes the responsibility of the producer to dispose them so this is the case with the epr that is extended producer responsibility also it comes with the some targets e kya the producer of the electrical and electronic equipment has the responsibility of managing such equipment after its end of life question number 20 as per the solid waste management rules 2016 which of the following are correct waste generator has to segregate them into five categories no it is only three categories and the rules are applicable to notified uh, urban bodies notified towns and all industrial township only see the extreme word only no it is also used uh, applicable to other areas uh, like the special economic zone and uh, urban agglomerations etc the rules provide for exact and elaborate criteria for the identification of sites uh, for landfills and waste processing facilities yes this is absolutely correct and hence the answer to this question is c it is mandatory on the part of waste generator that the waste generated in one district cannot be moved to another district this is absurd actually and it is wrong see the waste can be segregated into three uh, categories which are biodegradables and uh, dry and domestic hazardous waste and now they have uh, framed uh, new rules which are applicable beyond the new municipal areas and uh, they also extend to the other zones question number 21 this is regarding the ramsar convention So under Ramsar Convention, it is mandatory on the part of Government of India to protect and conserve all the wetlands in the territory of India. No, it is not mandatory for the Government of India. So statement one is wrong. And uh, the Wetland Conservation and Management Rules 2010 were framed by Government of India based on the recommendations of Ramsar Convention. Uh, actually, it seems correct, but it is actually false. Uh, according to the UPSC key, also like this is wrong. So we are left. Uh, with the by the elimination method we are left with only third option so it should be obviously correct so the wetlands uh, conservation and management rules 2010 also encompasses the drainage area or the catchment uh, regions of the wetlands so the answer to this question is actually c three only also the wetlands conservation and management rules 2017 it has given uh, immense powers to the states to not only identify and notify wetlands within their jurisdictions but also to keep a watch on the prohibited activities in the wetlands yes we have come to the end of today's video uh, we'll meet tomorrow have a nice day thank you